Okay, so hello and welcome back. So essentially, there is there is another example over here, example number one, which says essentially the population of Sundarnagar. Sundarnagar is <coughs> the name of some place in India. You can think of it as a as essentially the name of a um, essentially a neighborhood or something like that. So. And of course, again, I sometimes I I I mean, as long as you're 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 essentially some somebody, some student essentially from India, of course you already know all of these things. But but then since this course might be used by somebody who is not from India, then sometimes I mention a couple of things that are particular to India. So. So the population of Sundarnagar was 2,35,471, meaning 235,471 in the year 1991. In the year 2001, it was found to be, it was found to be increased by 72,958, to be increased by, not that the population got to 72,000, because um, because it was already basically 235,000 and this number is only 72,000 and if the number essentially was increased it must have been anything anything larger than 235,000 right and this number is only 72,000 so this is this means it doesn't what this what what this part says in the year 2001 was found to be increased by it doesn't mean that the population got to this number it means that the, it means that so many people were actually added to the population right <coughs> so what was the what was the population of the city in 2001 so in this case basically um in this case, essentially, what happens here? Now, of course, all of—I mean, most of these examples are um, simple examples, meaning you might say that there is not much to them, really. But through these examples, we get to discuss a couple of interesting things about numbers, a couple of different things. Essentially, we learn about different things and so that that that's how we can use them so the population the population of sundarnagar this the place essentially in 1991 was 235471 right and in 2001 it was found to be increased by 72958 <coughs> people okay now you you want to know what what was the population of sundarnagar of Sundarnagar in 2001, right? <coughs> so that is essentially the question. Now, since essentially the population was originally 235,471 people, and then it was increased by so many people, then that means that essentially so many people have to be added to the, to the population. So then I could simply write essentially 235,471 plus 72,958 and add the two numbers. And of course, this is in people and this is in people. So the answer is going to be, of course, in people, meaning that's just a, num a population, which is the number of people, right? So... I can essentially do the calculation, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12, 1. That's a 5 plus 9 is equal to 14, 1. 6 plus 2 is equal to 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 
and then th 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 carry over 1 and that's 3 the comma here as a separator that's 308,429 right so that's the number of that's the population of Sundarnagar in 2001 now of course um of course um now there is of course something else that so the so the answer is basically three hundred eight thousand four hundred twenty nine right now there is something that you can do of course with with numbers and remember that we said that basically for example a number like we said that the number like for example 235,471 right we said that, that essentially this number since of course it's a decimal number you have basically the ones place value you have the tens place value you have the hundreds place value you have the uh, thousands place value 10,000 and 100,000 right and so it just keeps going right and so we um, and and of course these place values you can think of them as for example 10 raised to the power 0 which is equal to 1 and then 10 raised to the power 1 which is 10 10 raised to the power 2 which is 100 10 raised to the power 3 which is 1000 so these are the place values meaning essentially this place value here which is a 10 raised to the power 0, which is a 1. <coughs> that means that essentially you have those bags that contain only one marble, right? This place value, that is essentially those bags that contain, essentially each of, each of those bags contains 10 marbles, meaning any bag that you have in that essentially in that category that bag you don't have to count anymore because you have counted before and you know that there is 10 marbles exactly in that bag so essentially then since i have seven of those bags seven times a 10 would be 70 for example marbles in total in all of those bags then in the next category we have essentially the hundreds place value meaning every how many essentially whatever the number of bags that you found that you find in that category each bag contains a hundred marbles you don't have to count anymore because you have counted before right so that's a that's essentially each bag containing a hundred marbles four of those bags would be four four times a hundred which would be 400 marbles in that category and then you can add them together to get the total number of marbles in the in all of the bags which becomes essentially your the essentially the value the total value of your number right now so that means that essentially then for example this number i can write it as for example that is a two times essentially 10 raised to the power i don't know this is zero one two three four five right that is 10 raised to the power five and then add to that for example three times 10 raised to the power four right and then add to that five into 10 raised to the power three and then add to that for example four times 10 raised to the power 2 and then add to that 7 into 10 raised to the power 1 and then add to that 1 into 10 raised to the power 0 that's the essentially these are <coughs> these tell you essentially about the about the number of um, about the number of marbles that you find in every in every bag in each category so in this category every bag contains uh, 10 raised to the power 5 marbles which is essentially 100,000 in this category each bag contains for example a 10,000 marbles 1,000 marbles 100 marbles 10 marbles and 1 marble 10 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 right so that that essentially means that now of course I can write this as basically 2 into 100 
2 into 100,000 and then that is 3 times basically 10,000 which is that is 3 times 10,000 and then over here you have essentially 4 times 100 so that's a thousand that's a the, the, the five essentially we have forgotten about this so that's a plus five times a thousand right and then that's four times a hundred and then that's a seven times a ten and then over here you have one times a one right and of course you can add these together I mean you can multiply so that is two times a hundred thousand is two hundred thousand right and then three times a ten thousand that would be thirty thousand and then five times a thousand would be five thousand and then four times a hundred would be four hundred seven times a ten would be seventy and one times a one would be one and the number that i started with was basically two thirty five four seventy one 235471 right so this essentially tells me that this essentially tells me that 235471 can be written as 200000 plus 30000 plus 5000 plus 400 plus 70 plus a 1 right so a 235,471 can be written as a 200,000 plus a 30,000 plus a 5,000 plus a 400 plus a 5,000 plus a 400 plus a 70 plus a 1, right? And then in your essentially if basically you, you find yourself in the right type of situation to write your number out in this manner, meaning expand your number, and then do, for example, the addition, multiplication, subtraction, or whatever that might be, so then that, that's going to be the right thing to do, of course. Meaning that, for example, in this case, you see that basically, for example, Salma added essentially added essentially did the addition in this case by writing for example this number as this number plus this number plus this number and um, this essentially 72,000 as the the sum of these two numbers and then added them together and then Mary essentially did it in a different way so you can do it in any way in, in any way that you want as long as you basically follow the rules of the of the decimal numbers right <coughs> so this essentially means that for example um, to essentially to solve the exact same problems what I could do I mean one thing that I could do of course there is an infinite way of ways of essentially doing this but what I could do, instead of writing basically 235,471 plus 72,958 and then adding, adding them together, if the situation, I mean, is the, if essentially if it is the right thing to do in that meaning that the operation becomes easier or I can, or I actually for whatever reason I have to do so, instead of writing for example instead of writing the, the operation this way i can write a uh, essentially a 235471 this number i can write it as a 200000 and then add to that a 30000 and then add to that a 5000 and then add to that a 400 and then add to that a 70 for example and then add to that for or essentially I could even write a 71 here basically right for what the, and then or essentially add all of these together and then 
essentially this number over here again I could do the same thing meaning I can write seven seventy two thousand nine hundred fifty eight I can write it as a seventy thousand and then add a um, uh, a, 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 a two thousand basically and then add to that for example a 900 for example or essentially a 958 I can directly add or I can write 958 as a 900 plus 50 plus 8 basically I can do that as well right so then if I write the same operation if I write it this way of course the, the digits have to be in one neat column so that you can do the addition but you get the idea so then you can just simply add this way and then you will come up with you will essentially come up with the exact same answer right so that's essentially i mean the the only reason i discussed this problem was to just uh, show you that uh, essentially the, that idea of um, place values and expanding numbers and all of those things that we discussed you can if the situation wants you to, to do so you can actually do that in anywhere any and essentially anywhere and any at any time that that you need to do so essentially okay so that was another example and i'll see in the next video thank you